Hello everyone, uh, this is Mr Hickey and this is a presentation, well my first presentation on the Irish Civil War. Uh, in this uh, presentation I'll be mainly focusing on the, the treaty debates. So these debates will lead to a war that was caused by a split in the Sinn Féin party and the IRA over the Anglo-Irish Treaty. It will be fought between On one hand, the pro-treaty IRA, or the Free State Army, led by Michael Collins. And on the other, the anti-treaty IRA, also known as the Irregulars, led by Rory O'Connor and Liam Lynch. Now, if you look at the picture here, they're actually, it's the same picture, but reversed. And I suppose the idea I'm getting at here is that uh, the, the people fighting here were former comrades and many friends and even family members. But now the treaty is going to deeply divide all of these people. Now, from the 14th of December 1921 to the 7th of January 1922, the Dáil debates whether it should accept or reject the treaty. During the treaty debates, the main dispute centred on the oath of allegiance to the king. And not as widely claimed partition. I suppose all sides had great hopes in the Boundary Commission uh, that it would lead to inevitable Irish unity and that Northern Ireland would be just a, a stump of a state and wouldn't be able to exist on its own. On the anti-treaty side, you have Dev, the fiery Cahal Brewer, Austin Stack, Interestingly enough, all six women TDs, now I suppose a lot of these had, um, had lost relatives either in, the, in 1916 or in the subsequent War of Independence. All were dismayed at the loss of the Irish Republic. And they regard the treaty as a betrayal of this. Hardline extreme Republicans said Collins and Griffith had betrayed the Republic and the 1916 Rising. When some TDs defended Collins, saying he had won the war against the British, Cahal Brewer said this was not the case. And again, uh, I have a YouTube link um, that if you have the, the actual presentation, you can click on to see, to see that from the, from the Michael Collins film. Dev, who led the anti-treaty side, said he opposed it not because I'm a man of war, but because I'm a man of peace. On the pro-treaty side, they said they wanted to avoid another war with Britain. And Dominion status was a lot better than home rule. Plus, we had economic freedom. Collins and Griffith made powerful speeches in favour of the treaty. Griffith said, We have brought back the flag. We have brought back to Ireland her full rights and fiscal control. Collins, of course, was not satisfied with the treaty, but said it was a stepping stone to future freedom. Now, the doll now takes its Christmas break. This was a big help to the pro-treaty side. Many TDs were informed by their constituents of their support from the treaty. And of course these TDs now were, were going back home. They were meeting uh, their constituents in pubs after mass and so on. And the general feel in the country was they didn't want a war again with Britain. So, when the vote happens, on the 7th of January 1922, 64 Sinn Féin TDs vote for the treaty, 57 against. What will this do to Sinn Féin? It will split it in two. What will it do to the IRA? The same.
So the results were the treaty was accepted democratically by the Dáil, but soon after Dev and his fellow anti-TDs withdraw from the Dáil in protest. Griffith becomes the new president of the Dáil. So, very quickly, tension and hostility builds. And I suppose not helped by some reckless speeches, uh, including those by Dev. For example, he said, the majority has no right to do wrong. And encouraging Irish people to wade through rivers of blood. So fiery stuff there from Eamon de Valera. Now, in our next presentation, we will have a look at the actual spark. What began the Irish Civil War? Okay, so hope that was helpful. And um, I suppose stay tuned. We'll be back again shortly with another video. Okay, bye-bye. Stay tuned.